And I am not normally uh, one of these guys that sits in my garage, uh, but it's nasty outside today. So here I am sitting out in my garage. Um, I'm sure I will get jokes about the amount of weight that is on the weight bar. But uh, it's raining out and often I go outside and do something. And as you know today, because it's filmed the day of today, uh, it is rain that is upon us. Scripture verses we've been looking at uh, shed some light on these COVID lockdowns and I've been trying to film from um, not within the building as much because nobody's in the building right now so I'm trying to film out and around as many of us are out and around and how God will see you through this time. So we've looked at faith and we, the things that we want to shed, the things that we want to bring into our lives and the things uh, that will make our lives valuable right now. I think faith is the thing that we've been really gearing towards for quite a few weeks. And we want to kind of in our life bust out of being locked in at least spiritually at this moment uh, in time. We want to get a sense of what the Lord has for us. And one of the things that we've looked at is the scripture or a couple of scriptures, Ecclesiastes and Isaiah, it says, don't, don't, look at the, don't look and say, why were the former things better? Why were the days gone by uh, better? And the Lord says in Isaiah, Behold, I do a new thing. Have you not uh, seen it? Don't you perceive it? And then uh, it talks about there's going to be a pathway in the wilderness and streams in the desert. But those aren't things that were there. They were created by the Lord. And for you, they were created for you. So this is a very personal thing in your life. And it's personally guiding you. God can give you a personal grace in your own situation and it's really important to take the new thing that the Lord is giving you. Now, I know it's a bit of a joke because it's got such a small weight on it, but like it's new for me. I don't work out at the gym. Uh, this is my weight set here in my garage, and it is not like there's a lot on it right now. But that's new for me. I mean, I didn't used to have to do this. My garage is now substituting as a gym with some small, small weights on it at the moment. But that gym, used to be something I would do. Now, in this sense, this is not that spectacular of a setup. But what God's doing, uh, even though maybe something is going uh, through you that's new uh, at this moment that you haven't see, seen, you want to make sure that you perceive it. And that's what I've talked about for a couple of days. Just perceive what the Lord is doing you may want to uh, get a sense and say, okay, God, I got a grip on this. I know what you're up to in my life right now. Because the Lord gives you a promise that he's going to do something new. And although I'm working out here in the gym, uh, in my garage, that may not be what it once was. But there's amazing things that I have got to step into in my life. So what is it that you're going to step into for you? And then... God's going to not just see you through this time, but he's going to give you that new uh, thing. I wouldn't say it's a new start per se. Maybe for some of you it is, but it will definitely be a new uh, thing. And you want to perceive it. Daniel in the lion's den, as I said yesterday, he knew there was angels that shut the mouths of the lion. doesn't tell us how, but he knew it and he recognized it. So you want to reach in your own heart and say, oh, there's what God's doing. And I want to see it. I want to perceive it. And then really trust the Lord because what it says is God's going to create a path in the wilderness and streams in the desert. And what he will do in this time, if you've ever been in that desert, because I have, the desert it's talking about is just south of Jerusalem. On the south side of the wall, uh, kind of the south east side of the wall of Jerusalem is literal desert. But one side, it's all trees, it's something to see. And you drive out the other side, as the wall goes, uh, you leave the one wall, there's camels. I mean, it's not all of it, just the one side, but you are straight into the desert. And what the Lord is saying is, in that wilderness, wilderness is like a desert, that's what it's referring to, in that desert, God's going to reverse it. That's what he's saying. And the point to today is God can reverse it, what's going on, the dryness in you. So you don't want dryness in your life. You want spiritual vitality and let God reverse it with the new thing. You may not find the old thing reverses it, but the new thing that God will do will reverse the dryness. Claim it in Jesus' name. It's good. It's for you. Amen.